but got some rest. Looks as though he got up a lot of reps from beyond the arc and they start off with a great start and then a big steal early. Champagne. Coach Reed, also USA Basketball royalty, so we talked with Coach Witherspoon about him recruiting. Good timing from the Canadian junior. Shot clock winding down, Murphy forced to fire. Murphy at the end of the shot clock. Presence of mind to look at the other end and know there's only two seconds remaining. And when you shoot as well as Murphy does, sometimes for the mistake. Yeah. Jelani White got the two, and it's a 6-0 run now for Canisius. That Chimpenny snaps with his third three of the half. It was interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I'd characterize it as a great pass, but it was interesting. Well, he, that's a great pass, and Tony inside has a chance for three. Well, it wasn't a great pass. Oh, okay. I will agree, because it did not go to the intended opponent. That was not a great pass. Maybe this gets Xavier Johnson going. Just defensive. What they have, and you've seen the number of plays where they've been able to get out of transition. Xavier Johnson this time to turn the defense into offense, turning the basketball over, and more importantly, taking advantage of those opportunities in transition. Ryan Murphy feeling his fourth three of the day. Now, to beat the buzzer, Johnson can hit. And here comes Pittsburgh. Murphy to the basket all the way. You see Malik Johnson on the baseline, so of course the point guard can't be back. Akram Amin as well as Harid, neither of those guys got someone and box out. And that time an easy put back for Fritz on the offensive glass. And we'll David Johnson gets to the cup. Majesty and Majestic. Mama call him Majesty, I'ma call him Majesty. You keep it like that. There's McGowan's nice little step back. <laughs> In the second half, 67 percent. He's at his best when Xavier Johnson is attacking, when Trey McGowan is attacking, not playing basketball, looking for three-point shots, but he needs to make sure he hunts those opportunities because, of course, they're just a better team when he's getting into the paint for himself or for his teammates. Johnson draws another foul. Still, it's him being aggressive, snaking the screen and roll, and of course, recognizing the contact, just throwing it up to the rim. McGowan's, remember, he's playing with four fouls. Rejects the screen, takes it to the rim, the Four foul on Malik Johnson. Underneath the basket, McGowan's once again snaking the screen and roll, and Malik Johnson unable to get in a position to take that charge. Because he doesn't leave the floor, it's going to be an automatic blocking call.